to the women, the women watching this video, I would like to apologise. I want to apologise for all the men who have sexually abused women in the past, the men who have raped women and left them feeling destitute inside. I apologise. I apologise when men have lied to you, given you false hope, said things that just weren't true. For that I apologise. I apologise where I have lied in the past to women and ask for forgiveness. I apologise for where men have sexually, uh, physically abused you, have used their physical power to try and dominate you, for bruises, cuts, marks, even serious injuries onto you. I apologise. I apologise for where in the past men who, whilst they did their best, they did provide for you, they did do things for you, also in some respects did oppress you as well, for that I apologise. I apologise that it took so long for you, you to have the vote. I apologise that where your point of view was perhaps not taken on board. I apologise that it took so long for you to be paid the same amount as men for doing the same job. I know that's changed now, but in the past that wasn't always the case and I apologise. I apologise where people in the church have hidden behind a facade of holiness and righteousness and behind closed doors have been abusing you. For that, I apologise. I know that this apology for me as one man is like one grain of sand on the seashore a drop in the ocean. But this apology to you is sincere. And I think that more men should apologise for what other men have done. Not because they themselves are guilty, although we are all guilty of different things, but rather to build the bridges, to build the gaps between our genders. To put down our swords, to put down our spears in this battle of the sexes and turn to love, accept and respect each other's gender. Thank you for watching.